Here's another framing tip for anyone who's going to be working on a ceiling, uh, framing a ceiling. What you're looking at here are two by six ceiling joists that are lapping over a bearing wall. The arrow is pointing to the bearing wall. The arrow on the left is pointing to the ceiling joist that would be going into the other room. Um, obviously, the ceiling joist where they lap, this is where you're going to have most of the weight transferring from the ceiling down through the wall. The arrow here is pointing to the other ceiling joist that would be going into the other room. Like I said, the weight will transfer from the ceiling in the room and then work its way towards the walls. This is just how it is. The arrow here is pointing to the lap. This is the break or the connection point where each ceiling joist will connect. Now this lap will also produce a tie, which will tie the outside walls of the house together. So you, you want to lap the joist as often as you possibly can. You don't want to have these joists um, staggering to where they wouldn't be connected. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a nice solid tie. Each one of these joists um, laps should get a certain amount of nails and your building plans might even call out for a specific amount. I like to put at least eight nails in each lap. That would be four on one side, four on the other. That would make the connection. And then, and then I like to have two toenails on each side going into the wall. Last but not least, there will be a specific amount or a maximum that you are allowed to extend each lap on the ceiling choice. I believe it is 12 inches. However, I do not know that for a fact. I like to have mine lap at least six inches on each side of the wall. Um, and again, this might, your building codes might call out for a 12 inch lap total. I like to get as much as I can because I understand how important these laps are structurally. So make sure that you check with your architect or structural engineer for more information. The last thing you would want to do is to not have these laps long enough and then of course uh, be ripping the ceiling out. So this is important. A lot of times things like these are what kill home builders because they don't understand what they're for. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding now of what these ceiling joists laps and connections actually do course they hold the outside walls together keep them from spreading apart and falling down